good morning students today we will be learning about the topic rank correlation coefficient in our previous class we have learned correlation coefficient which is represented by r and we find that we could get the value of r between plus 1 and minus 1 we can use carl pearson's correlation coefficient when we have quantitative data that is if you can represent the data collected in numbers then you can use carl pearson's correlation coefficient which we have solved earlier in the class but there are many instances where we cannot represent or address issues in terms of numbers i mean to say quantitatives so in that case we convert the numbers in terms of ranks starting from 1 which will be the highest score and the last rank will be given to the least number secured so basically from this page you can observe that r the formula r we write it in suffix as s so rs s stands for spearman's uh, correlation coefficient so rs equals 1 minus 6 sigma capital d square divided by n cube minus n where rs equals spearman's rank correlation coefficient and this n equals number of observations and this d is the difference between the ranks that is difference between these ranks is d so if you know this formula rs equals 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n cube minus n the whole concept is over now to understand this better we will first know what are the different types of problems that we can expect in the examination number 1 there are two types basically number 1 when the actual ranks are given and two when the ranks are not given now let us learn the first concept when the actual ranks are given so when the actual ranks are given to understand this better we'll take this example this example states two judges in a beauty contest rank the 10 entries as follows look at this there are 10 entries x and y are the two judges so they have uh, for the same participant x has given 1 mark y has given 8 marks x has given for the second participant 2 marks y has given 7 marks so totally for 10 entries so x has given so many marks for different contents contestants similarly y has given so much of marks for different contestants this is a very practical question because we might have seen in most of the reality shows in television sets that all of a sudden one of a judge is replaced by another judge this happens because two judges are not in sync or their thought process is not in similar lines or i mean to say they may not be totally in positive correlation as i have told you in the class positive means i am talking from the direction perspective when x increases y also increases if y decreases x also decreases so this is what it means by saying positive correlation so now let us see in this question two judges 
they have validated 10 entries and the marks for 10 events are given in the question. The first judge is X, the second judge being Y. Now what you will have to do when a question like this is given and you are asked to compute the Spearman's rank correlation and then interpret the data. Observe the data is given in terms of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and observe again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So both the entries have got numbers from 1 to 10. Now this clearly indicates that this is a Spearman's correlation problem where ranks are given. Here the ranks are given. These are not the numbers. These are the ranks. They have given the ranks directly. So what you need to do? Consider judges, judge X score 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 as R1. Observe. I have just copied this again here and similarly R2 is representing the judge Y. So I have just copied the same score in the same order 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 5, 1, 9 and 10. Now as per the formula you can observe I need D. D is the difference between ranks. So if I take the difference between ranks it is 1 minus 8 is minus 7, 2 minus 7 is minus 5. 3 minus 6 is minus 3, 4 minus 4 is 0, 5 minus 3 is 2, 6 minus 2 is 4, 7 minus 5 is 2, 8 minus 1 is 7, 9 minus 9 is 0, 10 minus 10 is 0. As observed in the formula, we want d square. So I have written a d square column and square the numbers in the d column. I will get this. 7 square 49, 5 square 25, uh, minus 3 square 9 and this is minus 7 in your minus 7 if you square it becomes plus 49 and uh, 0 square is 0, 2 square is 4, 4 square is 16, 2 square is 4, 7 square is 49 and this 0 square is 0, 0 square is 0 and the formula you can observe that the d square has to be summed. So this column is summed the sigma d square which is this part I am trying to add this column and I will get the score as 156. Now what we will do after uh, computing this table we will copy the formula rs equals 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n cube minus n. Observe in this n is number of observations number of observations is from 1 to 10. So there are 10 entries as said in this question. So n is obviously 10. And the sigma d square is 156 which I have written it again here. Now let us substitute these values in the formula rs equals 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n cube minus n. So here rs equals 1 minus 6 sigma d square is 156 which I have written here divided by n cube which is 10 so 10 cube minus n is 10 so 10 so 1 minus 6 into 156 divided by 10 cube minus 10 so once you uh, simplify this you will get 6 into 156 value is uh, is 936 divided by 10 cube is 1000 minus 10 so when you subtract subtract this 1000 minus 10 becomes 990 so it is rs equals 1 minus 936 divided by 990 so if you divide this you will get 0.946 so rs will be 1 minus 0.946 when you subtract you will get rs is equal to 0.054 observe 0, 0.0 forget about these two de decimal but 0, 0.0 is almost very closer to 0 but what we need to observe is it is positive in nature so that is why the interpretation would be this data this data follows a positive correlation but very negligible because it is almost equal to 0 so therefore that me this means to say that the the two judges x and y are not in complete agreement with each other. 
look at here we can observe if the first judge for one of our entry gives one mark the second judge is giving eight marks how can this difference be so much this is two marks and seven marks three marks and six marks so this clearly shows again when you look into the data that uh, the two judges are not in sync with each other so the interpretation would be you will have to change any one of the judge so to bring a judge who will be in sync with one of a judge and replace the other one who is having a lot of deviation in their marks so this is this is how you can learn observe this is not data this is just the rank now this is how you solve rank correlation or you find out the value of correlation coefficient when the actual ranks are given now students we'll go to the second category which means when ranks are not given so instead of ranks if they give some numbers then how to do it observe in this category when ranks are not given calculate the spearman's correlation for the following data observe there are two again two uh, data given one of x and one of y observe here this is not 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 like we did in the previous category here ranks are not given but the data is given x data and y data both datas are given here so what you need to do in this kind of situation is you will have to write the x data in this form vertically even y vertically observe there in the previous problem the ranks were given directly here we will have to write give the rank appropriately for the data given how to give the rank is the question the ranks are given based on the highest number the highest number gets the highest rank so that is the note observe the highest number is given first rank and second highest number is given second rank so that is how we will mark the ranks for these kind of problems i hope this is clear till now now it is very similar x is given y is given so i am just writing the ranks here and uh, let us see how we can proceed with the problem take x in x the highest value is 98 so 98 is given the first rank the next highest number is 95 so we'll give this second rank next is 81 is the highest so we'll give this the third rank and after that 75 is the next highest you can observe so i'll give the the fourth rank after that 61 is the next highest among the remaining numbers so i'll mark this as fifth rank and 59 is getting sixth rank 55 gets seventh rank and finally 53 gets eighth rank so now we have converted the given data into ranks similarly we will do the same for y also when we take y observe uh, in this set of data 47 is the highest so first rank for 47 and uh, second rank for 45 then uh, third rank for 40 and uh, we'll have fourth rank for 39 later uh, fifth rank for 37 and 32 will get sixth rank and uh, seventh rank would be 30 
and 8th rank would be 25. Observe in this case, now we have converted the given data into ranks. Now we will follow the same uh, methodology which we followed for when the ranks are given. Now we have converted the numbers into ranks and we will work the same. Observe the difference is R1 minus R2, R1 is 8 and R2 is 1. So 8 minus 1 is 7. So 1 minus 8 is minus 7. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. And 4 minus 7 is minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus uh, 2 is 5. Now if you observe, now we will have to find out the d square, d square would be 49, again 49, minus 7 when it is squared it becomes plus, so this becomes 16, minus 4 square is 16, 2 square, minus 2 square is 4, minus 3 square is uh, 9, uh, 2 square is 4, 2 square is 4 and 5 square is 25. So when you total, when you total all this, you will get it, uh, you will get this closer to say 160. This total would be 160. So observe, I have already uh, written the formula ready here. Rs is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square by n cube minus n equals 1 minus 6. This sigma d square is 160. So 6 I am writing as it is. Sigma d square is 160. So I will write 160 here. Divided by n is 8. You can see there are 8 numbers here. So 8, 8 cube minus n is 8 again. So if you simplify this part, the numerator you will get 960. Uh, 8 cube minus 8 you will get 504 so it is 1 minus 960 by 504 you will get 1 minus 1.904 actually this this is 1 minus 1.904 so you get something like this when you subtract this you will get minus 0 0.90476 observe again here r value here also is between plus 1 and minus 1 so this clearly shows even though it is negative correlation see two points to be remembered this follows negative correlation But it is 0 0.90 which is almost equal to point, uh, minus 1. So that means to say high negative correlation. Highly negative correlation. So this is the interpretation you can give. That means to say these both numbers which are given here are in sync with each other more or less sync with each other so the ranks whosoever has given have given good scores to both the sides uh, both these people have done their job correctly so that is why you can observe both are having similar kind of tastes uh, this is how you can work problems when ranks are not given I hope this was clear to everybody observe in both the categories I'll just keep the other paper also for your understanding observe the previous the two uh, when actual ranks are given and this one when ranks are not given in both the categories the ranks are not repeating 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in this category even in when ranks uh, are given 
you can observe the ranks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in jumbled but anyhow it is not repeating one rank is only once appearing but in reality this will not be the case sometimes some of the ranks can repeat this will not <clears throat> uh, many a times it is not asked but still to be on the safer side i feel we will also learn how to work this kind of problems what you need to observe is before solving this kind of problem look into the formula here the formula is very similar to this formula rs is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n cube minus n but after 6 sigma d square there is some additions here and these are the repetitions normally how how to use this formula it is the same formula but you will have to add 1 by 12 into m cube minus m uh, with how many numbers which are having uh, which are having similar ranking uh, I will tell you through an uh, example in this case. This is normally worked when the, uh, when you get ranks equal, more ranks equal to one another. So let us see how this is worked. Again as usual copy the numbers in this in the x and y and the ranks R1 and R2 like in the previous problems. Now let us start with the ranking. The highest number among this is 1. 65 which is the first rank. The highest number is 65. And the second highest is 2. That is 57 is the second highest. The third highest number is 48. Observe it very critically. Uh, this is very important. And the fourth number would be 40. The fifth rank is 33. And the sixth, sixth rank is 24. And the seventh rank, observe the seventh rank, which will be the seventh rank, which which one to give the seventh rank? Observe there are three sixteens, three sixteens. So there are three sixteens. So what you can say is. For which place is this fight happening between 16 and 16 and 16? It is for the 7th position, for the 8th position and the 9th position. Right? There are 3 16. If, because all the 3 numbers are the same numbers, I, I can't give 7, 8, 9 because all the numbers are equal numbers. So what we do, instead of writing 7th, 8th and 9th, we will take the average of it. So when you take the average of it, it is something like 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by 3. When you do so, you will get this equal to 8th rank. So what you will be doing is, instead of writing 7, 8 and 9th rank for these 316 numbers, you will write this 8 in all these places. So it is, this also is 8, this also is 8 and this also is 8. Even though we have written it as 8, 8th rank for all the three numbers 16, 16 and 16 but still internally we have to think that we are writing 8 but actually these are 7th, 8th and 9th 
ranks. So after 7th, 8th and 9th rank, the last leftover number that is 9, this has to be given 10. Because 7, 8, 9 then is the 10th rank. But since the numbers are equal, we will take the average of the uh, 3 positions which became 8. So we wrote it as 8 and the last number left out was written as the 10th rank. So we, we have written all the 10 positions. So this is how you will have to uh, give ranks when there are equal numbers. Observe here also you can find 31 is equal and there are 2 6. So this is uh, what we have to be careful with. Now let us try to mark the rank for the second version. Now which is the first rank? The highest number itself is two numbers. Two numbers, so I will have to take 1 plus 2 divided by 2 which is 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5 rank. So that means to say instead of writing first rank, I will have to write here 1.5 rank for this and 1.5 rank. Even though I am writing this as 1.5 rank and this one, this one as 1.5 rank, keep in mind we have finished two positions. So now we will have to mark for the third rank which is the next highest number. The next highest number is 20 and that 20 is the third rank. Because these two breaks, one and first and second position, this is the third position. So, third position is this, and the fourth position is 19. And the fifth position uh, would be 15. And the sixth position would be 13. And the seventh position would be nine. And the eighth position after nine, observe the eighth position, there are two numbers that is six. So, what you do is the fight is for after seventh, there are two numbers that is, if it were to be different, it would have been eighth and ninth. So, I will write eight plus nine divided by 2 uh, which is 8.5 so I can write give 8.5 rank for both both this but internally what I mean to say is they are the 8th and the 9th position for which I am writing it as 8.5 as they are same numbers and the final number that is 4 is given the 10th rank. So observe this is how we rank the given data when the ranks are equal, when the numbers are equal. This is how you work out and find out. Now as usual, uh, prior to that, yeah, as usual we will take the difference. 3 minus 6 is minus 3, 5 minus 1.5 is 3.5 4 minus 1.5 is 2.5 and 10 minus 8.5 is 1.5 8 minus 5 is 3 8 minus 10 is minus 2 1 minus 3 is minus 2 6 minus 7 is minus 1, 8 minus 8.5 is minus 0 0.5 and 2 minus 4 is minus 2. As usual, we will double it. So this is 3 minus 3 square is 9 and uh, uh, 3.5 if you square it, it will be roughly around 12. 25 
and uh, 2.5 if you square it you will get it equal to 6.25 and 1.5 if you square you will get it equal to 2.25 and uh, 3 square will be 9 2 minus 2 square is 4 minus 2 square is 4 minus 1 square is 1 minus 0.5 square is 0 0.25 and minus 2 square is 4 if you add all you will get it roughly equal to say 52 so that means to say you have found out the value of uh, sigma d square observe in the formula I have written here 1 rs is equal to 1 minus 6 and the sigma d square is 52 so I will write this 52 here plus as in the formula it says 1 by 12 so one, these are all for these repetitive numbers how to enter make this m I will tell you this 1 by 12 and this m cube minus m this first is how many numbers 7 8 and 9 there are 3 numbers so I will write here 3 cube minus 3. This m is how many times one number is repeated. Observe the first number which was repeated was 16. It repeated for 3 times. So that is why it is 1 by plus the normal formula plus 1 by 12 in the numerator into 3 cube minus 3 plus 1 by 12. Again, you observe that there was 31 which repeated 2 times. So that is why this will be 2 cube 1 by 12 2 cube minus 2. Then again uh, which was the number 6 repeated twice. So again plus 1 by 12 into 2 cube minus 2. So this divided by the normal formula n cube minus n. So these are actually the numbers which are repeating so as in this case 16 repeated 3 times and uh, 31 repeated 2 times so it is 2 cube minus 2 and uh, 6 repeated 2 times so again this is so. When you make an entry like this and simplify this you will get uh, this values something like uh, this if you substitute will be 1 minus 6 into 52 plus 2 plus 0.5 plus 0.5 this whole divided by 10 cube is 1000 1000 minus 10 is 990 So this implies Rs will be equal to 1 minus 6 into 52 plus 2 is 54 plus 155. 55 divided by 990 this means to say rs is equal to 0 0.6667 something like this you will get the number observe from this value r, r value is positive 0 0.666 it is positive and it is moderately power, power positive and these data have got positive correlation because it is positive that means to say this is having a positive correlation so this was about spearman's rank correlation with this we come to the end of spearman's rank correlation which is used when we have qualitative data.
थैंक यू